you're okay if I put this online on YouTube or whatever. Absolutely. Social media, you're Wherever okay. Wherever you like. All right, fine. Send it to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> and if it doesn't work out, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. Where if you, oh, you're if right. I only see with one eye tomorrow, we'll yeah. never see this video. Okay. Right. So what would happen if we exchanged a symphony lens for a panoptics lens? How would the patient see? Would they see better or would they see worse? Over the past three months, we've presented a couple of videos, which I'll show here and here, their links, about our early experience with the Panoptics lens, which we started using in September of 2019. Prior to that, we'd used the Symphony lens since 2016 and it worked fabulously. Though no lens is perfect, the Panoptics lens has definitely proven to be the best overall performing presbyopia correcting lens that we've have had the opportunity to use thus far. We recently had a patient who received the Symphony lens in April of 2019. He wanted to maintain his ability to see both far and up close with minimal to no reliance on reading glasses. You had the Symphony lens placed on your right eye Correct. on April 15th. Yeah. Rick and I go way back. In 1998, when he was 32 years old, he came to me and we performed LASIK on him to correct his nearsightedness. And at age 32, you're young enough to see far and close if your eyes are set to normal, which LASIK sets your eyes to normal for your age. So he did fine. He could see far and near without glasses in his 30s. As time went by, as all eyes that have LASIK experience, his eyes gradually changed because a LASIK procedure does not stop the natural, normal, age-related changes from occurring to your eyes. And he ended up having a uh, touch-up procedure to fine tune his vision. And we touched him up with LASIK in 2004 and then again in 2011. Fast forward to 2019. In April of 2019, he came in and he was seeing overall pretty well far away, but he was 53 years old at that time and he could not see up close and he wore reading glasses and that was really bothering him. He wanted to be able to read his phone and read his computer and read everything without having to depend on reading glasses. Yeah, your near vision was basically shot from your right eye. You could still read from your left eye, but you couldn't read from your right eye, correct? Correct. All right. His right eye prescription was a plus one, plus a half, axis 171. So he's a little farsighted. Okay, his uncorrected far vision, right eye was 2040 and his near vision from that right eye. When reading at about this distance, which is about 16 inches away, he could read, only read from his right eye, this size print. He could read this line on the reading card that we use in our exam room, which was 2200. Now we placed the symphony lens in his right eye on April 15th. His long range vision from his right eye improved from 2040 to 2020. So 2040 is barely legal to drive. He noted dramatic improvement in his natural far away vision and commented, hey, my driving vision is great. It's better than it was before surgery. I see great to drive at night, but I still have trouble reading. So what was his reading vision? His reading vision on the card was now 2070. He moved only from 2200. He gained better near vision to 2070 without glasses, which was not good enough. Why was that? Well, he was a little out of focus. We intended to put his right eye to perfect far focus, but selecting the implant that's going to set an individual's eye into perfect focus is not 100% guarantee. We find that mm, in a patient that's had prior LASIK surgery, there's probably like a 75 to 80% chance. We pick the lens implant that should set your eye to the ideal focus and we hit that 
ideal focus probably four out of five times. There's a one in five chance if you've had prior LASIK or maybe RK surgery that you'll still be a little out of focus and we'll have to do a touch up to fine tune your focus. No big deal, that's what, what we specialize in and we can certainly do touch ups very easily. So we worked with Rick and we found that in reality, he wasn't set to his ideal focus. He was still a little bit farsighted. His prescription on his right eye was plus 0 0.5. J7, which is here. So you went from here to here for reading. So we thought, hey, Rick, you're a little out of focus. Your prescription's about plus 0 0.5, and that forces you to strain a little bit more than, your, than what's ideal to refocus up close. So we used little trial lenses to test his vision and to demonstrate to him how he would see if we did a touch-up surgery like a LASIK touch-up or a lens exchange to reset the focus of his eye. When we tested his vision through these various lenses, he could still see 20-20 and his near vision improved, but his near vision only improved when he was set to still really sharp far focus. His near vision improved to between 2060 and 2040 on this card if we were to do a touch up. And that's because the Symphony lens, it works well. Its strengths are really consistent far and mid range vision. Some people get really wonderfully crisp near vision as well. For Rick, he was already seeing great far away through his right eye with the symphony. He had weak near vision. He did not want to lose that great far vision. If we did a touch up on him and brought his eye into better focus for close, at best, he would only see 2040 to 2060 near vision up close, which was still not strong enough for him to read comfortably at that distance. So my notes on him were he wants better near, he loves his natural far vision from his right eye, but in order to boost that near vision, I couldn't use a symphony lens to keep his far vision ideal and help him to read up close. We had a conversation and I said, hey Rick, I think that the only way that we're going to be able to make your far, mid, and near vision as clear as you want it is to remove the symphony lens that's in your right eye and replace that lens with a panoptics lens. And though I can't be sure that it's going to give you the vision that you want, based on four months of experience and probably putting in about 300 panoptics lenses during that time, we found that the panoptics gives more consistent near vision and enables patients to see computer and far away as well as the symphony lens and hopefully that'll help you to keep your far vision keep your computer vision and boost your near vision so you can read stronger and not have to use reading glasses like you want and he said yeah i'm game for it let's go for it well the symphony lens improved my reading but not well enough for me to use my cell phone without glasses or my computer without putting it a little bit further away than was comfortable. So we came in and talked about the possibilities of enhancing either my left or my right eye to, to give possibly mono vision again or reading, better reading. And they talked about a new lens called the Panoptics. And at that time, um, or the day after, I made the decision to come back in and have the lens changed out. Okay, so your current status is, and I'm gonna show this right here. Your current status is your right eye, which is this eye, can still see 2020, but it doesn't read so well. Your left eye reads better than your right. Your prescription is you're a little bit farsighted on your right eye, the eye with the symphony lens. And what we did is we showed you, when we saw you in November, we showed you a couple of lenses and with those lenses, it, we brought you into better focus, but you still could only read, let's see here, you could only read this row here, J3. And that's still not quite good enough for most people. So the hope is that we exchange your Symphony lens. This is now eight months after we inserted it. 
we place a panoptics lens, which came out in September, and the panoptics lens gives stronger reading focus. Our goal is maintain real good far vision from your right eye, but boost your near vision, correct? That's the hope. Yeah. Any questions? No, sir. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right, thank All right. you. So on December 30th, we removed his symphony lens and place the panoptics lens. Now, one trick is that I knew his right eye was a little bit out of focus, so I picked a panoptics lens that should bring his right eye into better focus far away than the symphony lens. This is a quick synopsis of how we remove the lens. This is the symphony lens being cut in half, and we remove each half gently from inside the eye after we've floated it out of the capsular bag. We then take a panoptics lens shown here and insert it into the capsular bag. We center the lens, remove the clear gel that filled the eye and then we have a beautiful new panoptics lens in Rick's right eye. So ultimately when he came in for his one week after surgery follow-up, this is what he said. I think it really started to get good about three or maybe four days after the surgery is where I really started to notice the difference in reading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now your right eye is 20-20 and far and near. The day after surgery you were 20, 25 far and like 20, 30 near. So it did pick up. We do see that. So first day is like good and it, it shifts over the next week. Okay. And before surgery, even with the yeah. reading glasses, I can only read for a certain amount of time before I start to get a headache. Uh -huh. And I guess it was about three days after the surgery, I noticed that by day five, I didn't even know where my reading glasses were. You just didn't have the desire to pick them up. I start every day with a computer and normally, you know, I'll try to look at it. And most days I'll go get the glasses right away. And the other day I went and bought a 14, I have a 17 inch computer that had the font all jacked up on so that I could read it. And I went and got a regular computer and turned my phone down to a normal font so the people five aisles behind me can't read what I'm writing on the airplane anymore. And it seems pretty normal. Good, so no need for reading glasses at all now? No, not even the menus and the restaurants that used to give me trouble. I haven't had any problems at all. And this morning, it was when I really noticed that things were great was when I had to call the credit card company. I had a new card I had to activate. And the phone number is the smallest thing on the back of that card. Right. It's like they don't even want to talk to you. And I didn't even need glasses. I just put it in the light and I could read it just fine. How's the Far Vision Panoptics compared with the Far Vision Symphony? I think both were great. I haven't noticed any difference in the distance vision at all. I did notice that when I got the Symphony Vision, that my Symphony lens, that my night vision improved dramatically. Um, I was scheduling my flights into Central America really early, so I didn't have to drive at night. And once I had the Symphony lens, I didn't worry about that at all anymore. And I don't see any difference at night or driving between the Symphony lens and the and the Panoptics. So quality of distance vision is equivalent between the two? Yes, I think they're exactly the same. I haven't noticed any difference at all. Interesting. Any difference in brightness? Do you feel like you get more light or things are brighter with one lens versus the other? Or do you think it's about the same? No, when I first had the symphony lens put in, I had noticed more color in that eye than I did in my natural eye. Your left and eye, And I yeah. would cover one eye and then cover the other. And it was kind of interesting to stare out the window, but I hadn't even tried that with this lens. I haven't noticed any difference. Okay, so no downside with the exchange, all upside. Just gain no. the near vision. So the take home message is that the panoptics lens simply delivers better near vision than the symphony lens overall. Uh, additionally, the far and mid-range vision with the panoptic seems to be as good as the symphony lens. So let me be completely clear with you. We don't encourage anybody who has a symphony lens to come to us to have it removed. We want you to keep your symphony lens. I have my symphony lens. I'm not going to have it removed for a panoptics lens. But in select cases, if somebody can't read as well as they want with the symphony lens, we can actually remove the symphony lens and replace it with a panoptics. And it'll probably give those patients stronger reading vision than what they have with their symphony lenses. Thank you, Rick, for allowing us to share your story and for allowing us to learn from your experience and we're happy that you're doing well. Thank you for your time and for watching this video. 
Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.